What's going on guys, Ash here, coming at you with some more Power Ranger news, some Power Ranger comic news that is, and today we're going to be talking about Go-Go Power Rangers, or Saban's Go-Go Power Rangers, or Hasbro's Go-Go Power Rangers, I don't know whose Go-Go Power Rangers it is, I'm just going to call it Go-Go Power Rangers, or Go-Go, whatever is easier for you, whatever is easier for me, as long as we get through this together. Now we have some information on the upcoming post Shadow Grid story arc, or what a lot of other people are calling it, the color swap arc. I'm going to probably call it the color swap arc and I'll probably call issue 13 the mini post shadow grid story arc because we have no idea what's going to happen in this comic. Calling it the post shadow grid story arc seems a bit weird because it means we're going to take a long break from what happened after shadow grid but I think we're going to be jumping right into a new arc in issue 13 or issue 14. We'll see once the issue comes out. Now uh, if you didn't know that the next Go Go Power Ranger issue, issue 13, won't be out until October 10th, unfortunately, because Go Go does take a break after it releases a few issues here and there, and that makes sense because it's a, like, they release four or five issues and then they go on a three month break. That makes sense, so that means uh, Ryan can work on the next story arc for Go Go, and I appreciate that because time to breathe, because give the guy some time to breathe after working on some amazing arcs that he's been writing but let's talk about the color swap arc because the first thing i saw with the color swap arc was trini and jason in different ranger outfits we see trini in the red ranger outfit ho holding the power sword and we see jason in the yellow ranger outfit holding the power daggers and they're on some sort of weird planet surrounded by monsters. How did they get to this planet? Well, we have no idea. And this is saying on Power Rangers now that for the first time since becoming Power Rangers, the Rangers are separated. So they're going to be working on their own. They're going to be in groups working together. So it's going to be one of those arcs where everyone's separated and everyone's in groups and they're trying to do their own thing. I'm sure we've seen this on the TV show before, but this will be the first time since they got their powers in the comics that be seeing them doing this in the comics so they'll all be separated and they'll be working together and the issue 15 cover oh boy is this one spicy issue it's probably gonna be my thumbnail no doubt about it. it's probably gonna be my thumbnail we have Trini and Jason kissing I didn't know how so I should deliver that line. But anyway, I really do love this issue of them kissing because they're embracing each other. you got Jason wrapping his arms around Trini's waist. They're holding each other for a close embrace as they kiss. And behind them is a monster opening its mouth about to eat them. And I want to say I love the design of the monster, but I also love the sort of symbolism design of the monster because its mouth is sort of shaped like a heart. The tongue is very yellow and around the tongue the mouth is red so it sort of symbolizes the red and green ranger not red and green the red and yellow ranger are getting together so that's a really cool symbolism if the artist was going for that and if the artist wasn't going for that well i guess i just pointed something out randomly and i pointed it out but anyways in issue is in this upcoming arc we are going to be focusing on the relationship between between Trini and Jason and the relationship between those two characters hinted at way back in issue one they've been not on and off again but they've been giving each other looks and they've been making blushy faces at each other so we're going to be focusing more on that relationship between the characters and that's really cool I'm not a shipper I've never been a shipper for like anime and manga and TV shows but to see these two characters get together and how Ryan will write it. I'm very interested. And let's talk about the other rangers who are color swapped with each other. We've got Kimberly as the blue ranger, Billy as the black ranger, Zack as the pink ranger, Trini as the red ranger, and Jason as the yellow ranger. So everyone sort of swapped colors with each other and it's really cool. I love everyone in the different outfits and not only that, they're having, they're holding each other's weapons. Now, I have no idea how this is going to happen, but I'm guessing when they get separated on this planet by whoever separates them on this planet, maybe they do it themselves. Maybe they get blasted by a monster and they get separated. I'm guessing that as everyone gets separated, everyone just finds each other's morphers and that how they get each other's colors. That's how I'm guessing how the arc is going to go down. But 
Who knows, we'll know it when we see it. The article on Power Rangers Now also talks about Rita setting out on a quest to find the ultimate weapon that can destroy Earth while the Rangers are separated to find themselves separated from one another. I just butchered that line. But anyways, Rita is going to be playing a bigger role in this arc, which is really cool because Rita in the comics, she's so badass. She's so cool. I love how Kyle and Ryan have written her because if you didn't watch Shadow Grid Live, it's online somewhere. You, you, you have to find it online. I, I can't stress this enough. Go find like someone uploading Power Rangers um, Shadow Grid Live that they did at Power Morphicon where they got like a bunch of actors and voice actors from Power Rangers to read lines from the comics. It was so cool. It was like the coolest thing. It got me your teary eye to be honest because you see all these actors who haven't done these roles in like 20 years doing these lines again. But one thing that was like the big standout like the big main focus who probably got the most lines out of a lot of people and that was Barbara Goodson who voices Rita Repulsa and she like read all these cool lines from Carl Higgins comics and the Shadow Grid stuff and it was so cool I, I, I can't stress that enough like if you like look that up now and the lines that she was doing as Rita as in the voice of Rita was so cool so badass like she has still got it like when she does really cool lines like that it makes like Rita twice as intimidating as the character like in comic form more than she is intimidating on the show because that just made her look so cool like like I said I can't stress that enough go go find that Shadow Grid live panel online and watch it it's, it's amazing but apart from the color swap arc, Rita will be having a big role in this arc as well. And the one thing that she'll be doing in this arc, you'll be seeing a heavy focus on Rita Repulsa and how she obtained the green Power Ranger coin. And that is an interesting tale that I would love to see in the comics because I don't remember how they mentioned Rita getting the green Power Ranger coin in the um, TV show. I think it was just like magic and plot convenience that she had her own power coin the whole time. So... I see her go on a journey, like, through the far reaches of the galaxy to get this green power coin, or she conjures up with, like, dark magic. It will be very, very interesting to go see, because the sea reader going through an arc to get this green power coin, and that's why she probably puts the rangers on a different planet to separate them so she can get this power coin. Or maybe it's on the planet that the rangers go to, and... I don't know. But anyway, Rita getting focus in the comic is always good, because like I said earlier, Rita in the comic is so damn cool. But anyways, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. What do you think of the color swap arc that is going to be happening in GoGo -Go Power Rangers? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Tell me in the comment section down below. But anyways, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And have a wonderful day and peace out.